Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family, thank you just just for being there. Just for, you know, you know, um, respecting my opinion and just, you know, challenging me. I appreciate that. And it's just the stuff that you talk about, it gives me more things to put in my, you know, my vlogs, my content, and it, it just gives everybody an understanding towards things that we all can truly relate to and connect with. And with that being said, much love to all, namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are coming your way. And if you've been watching my videos for a while and have not already, what are you waiting for? Like and subscribe, even hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. If you feel like that you are comfortable enough, please go ahead and drop me a line or two. I'd love to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me, or even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video. Or you're just up telling me about your empathic gift and how it impacted your life and sending you towards a positive direction. Or if you feel like the video has been very informative, informative to you and just gave you some good vibes that you want to share with someone, please go ahead and do so. And while you're at it, um, give me a thumbs up and like and even share on your social media favorites. So thank you so much for stopping by my channel and showing love and support. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. My nose started itching. I know I'm about to get into some serious stuff. Okay, the meditation music that I'm listening to today is Soul Figo, 741 Hertz, Awakening Intuition Helps in Toxin Release, Pure Miracle Tones, S4T7. And I will post that link in the description box below. And the video I'm doing today is Hayoka's hey, Reflecting and Looking at Life's Perspectives. I mean, you know what? I really enjoy my alone time. I really do. And it makes me reflect on things that I probably went through out during the week or just throughout the couple of months or even probably this last year of like things that has triggered me, things that has broke my heart, you know, truth that I really didn't want to, you know, uh, really dig into because it was just too painful. But I knew I had to go through that. And you may be going through the same thing. It's just like, you know, we have had so many things happen to us that it's still probably a sort of a, th a sore thorn in our sides you know and it's just like you get frustrated with yourself like why am I not able to let this go why do I keep thinking about this why do certain things trigger off these things that I went through they're not happening to me anymore but it was something that really messed me up so that's it's just like that that alone time you know I used to you know, when going through all these things and matter of fact, even before my father had passed, it was like I was going through this, these weird changes like, you know, I didn't want to be alone. I didn't like having these thoughts going through my head. And I guess that was just like my empath clairvoyance or whatever was triggering because I was able to hear thoughts and stuff that I did not want to deal with. I didn't even want to pay attention to because I felt like I, I was losing my mind. And then it was just like all these things that I see that I have overcome, all the things that I felt like, you know, I was just going to never get through. And it's just like still... You know, dealing with, you know, the death of my father and tr trying to find answers for that, you know, it comes hard, It, you know, but I know day by day it gets better. Even though I don't have that closure, it still gets better. So it's just like going, it, it, it's a good thing to reflect on things, on how, how much you have changed. You know, you congratulate yourself, even though things might not be as good as you want them to be but you can see that they are progressing because it takes time you know because sometimes it's just like you know what like like I said with me being a tourist I do not have patience whatsoever I do not have patience and I'm just like oh why don't you hurry up and come I need this you know I need this but then it's just like you know what appreciate that time alone appreciate that time on waiting for things to blossom for you because that gives you time to grow that gives you time to heal learn more about yourself more about your surroundings other people how you, you engage with people how how they accept how people engage with you 
you know, being comfortable about being around a whole group of people, especially with you being an empath. It can be hard at times being around a lot of group, you know, a large group of people, especially when different there's people with different attitudes that's not clicking and, and you know somebody could be going through some really stuff tough stuff and like if you got to go to a teacher's conference or some kind of you know play for your kids or you know even a football game and it's just all these different you know attitudes you got to deal with can be so frustrating that's why i used to look at my dad like how are you able to maintain all this and deal with all these people because it can be frustrating just for me but I guess it's just like you have to learn it takes time to deal with that because he's been in that industry for so long but it, you know I just know I had to deal with it myself and it's just like when I look at all my videos it's like a blessing when I can actually leave like a legacy behind and make all these different videos and know how it has helped me along the way but it also helped other people the same way and just look at it. it gets me really emotional when I can see that you know when I felt like what am I doing enough and you know am I making an impact on somebody's life and you know not changing somebody's mind but trying to have people see things my way but just basically looking at your life and see how much it has changed for the better or if you are spiraling out of control it see it shows you how much things that you need to work on because there's a lot of things that we still need to work on and we get frustrated because we're not there at the finish line but then it gives us that time to work on self so remember that thing you know remember those things and be grateful for all the changes that you have overcome all the things that you know it has healed your heart but even though you're still working on it it's okay it'll be all right you'll get through this so I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video Send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. Know that you are blessed, truly loved, and highly favored. And knowing that blessings are coming your way. And knowing that, you know, there's always somebody out there praying for your better days as well. And I'm sending, you know, infinite abundance, uplifting vibes, and loving vibes, and healing vibes if anybody truly needs it. And I'm giving a post notification shout out to Chantel. I hope you're having a blessed week, girl. Don't let them drive you crazy at your job. And I will talk to you later. I know, you know, it takes time for you to get on to my um, channel because I know you've been busy, but hopefully you'll see this shout out. So I'll see everybody later, and I hope everybody has a blessed week. And, you know, stay blessed. And uh, like and subscribe, even hit that notification bell. Drop me a line or two. I love to get the positive feedback. And you know, share on your social media favorites. And I will talk to you on my next video. Much love, peace, and be wild.